All right, come on in, hit the like button. Think about Sky Matthew already. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. But most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is going to be my personal opinion for the 2020 uh, Netflix film action film called Extraction. Here is the plot. A black market mercenary who has nothing to lose is hired to rescue the kidnapped son of an imprisoned international crime lord. But in the murky underworld of weapons dealings and drug trafficking, an already deadly mission approaches the impossible. Now here is some of the cast. So this is a rewatch review. To be honest, I don't remember barely anything about this film before rewatching this film. The second one comes out this month, I believe in June. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments below. The cinematography was fantastic shooting uh, from above while following the characters moving room from room. Uh, so apparently the director filmed the huge car chase scenes, which was more of the percentage of this film, by the way, uh, uh, just in general of action as well. Um, the huge car chase scene by strapping himself to a hood of a car and would unhook himself and move from car to the side uh, and then in the side of the car uh, and then out again. All in one fell swoop with no cuts in transition. Now that's talent right there in my opinion. It really came off like a modern day video game cutscene. However, to be honest, the camera movements from the director did nauseating, get nauseating at times. Prince Hemsworth's character was a complete badass, no doubt about it. However, his acting was just standard, in my opinion. That's not saying he's bad. I just think in this particular one, his range was just him being a upset, moody, depressed person with a lot of anger. So there was really no emotion on him. Uh, plenty of brutal and gory fight scenes throughout, so definitely a huge plus on the action entertainment point. This was more of a justified balls to the wall action film, not really much of a story to be uh, in my opinion. So here is my rating, I'll come back to my thoughts. This was such an awesome film, definitely in the John Wick range. However, I'm super confused on how there is a sequel to this film. I won't give it away, but I'm just saying. But what are your thoughts? Let me know in the down comments below. By the way, Shazam 2 is coming out tomorrow on iTunes by the look of it. So look out for that. I don't know if it'll be on the actual day it comes out. Or if it'll be sent. I don't know. It depends on how I feel tomorrow, but I'm kind of at the moment really want to do more and more uh, days than I have been doing, which is one to two, uh, mostly one when it comes to reviews. So, uh, you know, it's just, it's annoying, but it's, it's summer is, spring is on its, or on its way or is out right now. I don't know. I'm always confused over here in Washington. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll see how this goes, trying to, again, up the, the uh, stuff. So, um, yeah, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe and school.